going on everybody? Tyler and Remy here, here to do some Mesa life for you guys. We're finally bringing it to you, long overdue. We've been looking forward to this since the fall, but we're going for tiger trout today, guys. Big ones. Last time that you saw us going up here this deep, we both caught an MA tiger trout that day. So we're hoping that we can replicate that success today too. We'll also be going for big cutthroat trout. The cutthroat trout guys are gonna be native Colorado river cutties. Nice and red, hopefully. Yeah, nice and red, gorgeous colors. Every fish that we're going after today should be looking pretty good. Quality, not quantity. <laughs> yep. So we're at 10K plus today. Guys, can't get into too many specifics. We like to keep this spot pretty secret. As you can probably tell, we're kind of mobbing over a whole bunch of rocks right now. But we should be back there in about 45 minutes. It's about seven o'clock right now. Stay tuned. Here, we're trying to be quiet. On the other side of this rock, there are like eight or nine or 10 giant cutthroat trout. Yeah, if I were you, I'd just pitch it on the other side of this rock, dude. Oh, I had a couple go for it. All right, guys, so me and Remy, we've been here about an hour. The sight fishing for those cutties didn't go very well, but you can throw everything right in front of them. They're just sitting there, not taking anything. Threw a little mini net, and I can get it like almost into its mouth, and you just, and they're just sitting there. So we kind of gave up on that. Moved over a little bit. We're trying to go for some same species that are in here, just two species, native Colorado cutthroat and tiger trout. We've had a bunch of chases so far, nothing yet. We're both trying out the new cutthroat trout pattern from Dynamic Lures. Again, a lot of, a lot of chase, no bites yet though. I'm probably gonna give this another 30 or so and then probably try on a different pattern. <laughs> I have probably three inch tiger trout biting at this. I can see the tiger trout patterns. They're so tiny. Right now guys, Remy has a freshwater shrimp tied on to a bubble. He's got about a four foot leader. Yep. Oh! He had it. I saw him bite it. I saw him literally swim up from the bottom and munch the shrimp. Big, finicky cutthroat, guys. Finicky cutthroats. Hey guys, it's been a while, but I finally landed one. Nice silly. Huh? Crawler? Just wet your hands, guys. Oh, he got off. At least we got some action. Okay, guys, so this is really crappy. I thought I was recording this whole time, and I wasn't. But, guys, look at this cutthroat. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? I'd say it's in between 15 and 16 and a half. Gorgeous fish though, gorgeous fish. Oh my goodness. Well, let's get it back in. It's starting to heat up. Cuddy. Oh. All right guys, the bite's starting to heat up. It looks like a little bit at least. Jeez, he nailed that bottom trap. Oh, another blood red. Gorgeous Cuddy guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is why we come up to the Mesa, guys. This is why we drive deep. Get these really nice cutthroats. Natives. Oh, let's get it back in. There he goes, guys. Yeah. Remy's got a nice tiger, it looks like, over there. Looks like we both got the skunk out now. Hook still in his mouth? Yeah. Really nice, thick tiger by Remdog here. Yeah, my GoPro is dead, guys. Sorry, I couldn't get the film. But yeah. there's the proof. Dude, this thing is thick. Really nice pattern. Look at that pattern, you guys. Screw Joe Exotic. <laughs> we don't need Joe Exotic. We got we got Remy, dude, the tiger trout master. Tiger trout king. Tiger, the tiger trout king. Good stuff, Rem. Check it out. Beast mode. <laughs> Kissing the lens. Oh, yeah, guys, guys, that is one beauty of a tiger. That silver sheen in the bottom and then gold on top. Oh, yeah. Looks like a spiz like Jordan. <laughs> That's right. Hell yeah. All right, let's let this guy go.
goes on the dynamic lures new cutthroat trout pattern here both of mine have been on that remy's been using live worms he's been using um other stuff too but he's been getting his catches on the live worms <laughs> kind of working this shoreline here up and down near where these cutthroat are all hanging out in there Sorry, couldn't get the hook set. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't have my net out here, but geez, look at this. What? All right, you guys. Oh. I mean, can you ask for a better day than this? Sheesh, wish I could get some hook sets and stuff on film for you, but oh, I should just leave my camera running really really red look at this belly on this thing you guys look at the belly on this thing you guys good goodness my goodness about a 17 18 incher oh my god shoot there it goes guys so i'm literally sitting in the pool over here this is that other side of the rock where all the cutthroats were I cannot get them to bite to save our lives so i'm gonna try to net one i'm gonna sit here like a stork sit here like some type of water bird and see if one will swim into my net pause the video guys comment below if you think this is gonna work or not let me know what you think we'll see obviously if i get one i'm gonna put one right back no hooks in the mouth or anything but we'll see if this works got one guys oh. It works, guys. Yeah. I can't believe that worked. How many of you guys have ever done that before? That was nuts. Oh, so, obviously no hook or anything like that. Probably like the cleanest way to catch a fish. Obviously, it's not going to keep it or anything. It's going to get it right back in. Oh, my gosh. This thing is feisty. Or just cutthroat, super red, super long. Oh my gosh. Got it right back in, there we go. Cutthroat with the net, guys, no hook or anything. Definitely never done that before in my life, that was sweet. Oh guys, that was an awesome day. Lots, a big handful of blood red, trophy sized cutthroat, and Remy got that really nice sized tiger trout, close to an MA really. MA for tiger trout's only 18 inches. That thing was probably about 16, 17. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. Guys, right, really awesome day, pulling stuff in on worms and also pulling stuff in on the new pattern from the Dynamic Lures, yeah. that cutthroat trout. Really Thanks, fun. Sweet. Yeah, really nice pattern. Also guys, we can't forget that I got that fish, that cutthroat trout with that net. Um, I was pretty giddy about that, pretty excited. Never done anything like that before. Trout were just so thick easy. in there. It's yeah. Those trout were so thick in there and I sat there like a bird and just laid my net down there for about 10 minutes and then they all came swimming back in and I pulled one up and yeah, got a really nice one, so. Aaron. <laughs> well guys, we're actually at the other lake right now. We, me and Remy were going for some brown trout. We had one get off, but other than that, wasn't really much going on. Started off slow, but me and Remy prevailed yeah. in the end. Had to bring you back to the Mesa. Oh yeah. All the ice is done. Really can't wait to get back up here and do a lot more content with you guys. Hitting brand new lakes as well. Gotta get some graylings here soon. Yeah, so guys, the next species that we're trying to try to get out the bucket list for the team is Arctic grayling. So keep a lookout for that. We got a lot of fun stuff coming for you this summer. Fly fishing, camping, new species, new bodies of water, all kinds of stuff. So guys, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button if you're new so you don't miss out on anything. Notification bell as well so you get those notifications. And make sure you guys are hitting that like button too. Until next time, guys, Team Coughs on and out.